Hi, good day ladies and gentlemen and all, all those who will be viewing here on Facebook and welcome again to another exciting episode of Wept Adventures and every week we try to at least get something out sometimes we may not be lucky to, to post something but this is one of the more requested videos that a lot of people have a lot of concerns about um, constrictor snakes that we have in Trinidad and we are lucky to actually have two of the most popular specimens right here in our hands on our laps today and of course we have the rest of the team here Tarek and Christian and of course Christopher right in the back there you may or may not see him walking around in between right and we are going to do a actually as descriptive profile as possible on what I have in my hand here which is the Makawell or the bow constrictor and also a very more mature Makawell or bow constrictor right so we have Tarek of course one of the doctors as you can see <laughs> in our little organization here so Tarek take it away all right so as you're saying this is the Makawell also known as the red tail boa and you know in turn that everybody knows the name Makawell but not everyone knows what the snake is they can see any snake and be like that's a Makawell you know um, this is the, the second largest constrictor in the country. Uh, really important question, and a lot of people have been asking us in the public as of recent, uh, what are the diet of these snakes, especially these constrictors? So Tarek, shed some light on that, please. All right, so let's start with this one here. This uh, adult boa would eat anything it could overpower, any mammal or bird it could overpower. So this could eat something as large as a big maniku, a guti, um, and then for the birds would be like the big pigeons, the doves, um, maybe even like an owl or something that they could find if it chooses to go on a tree because you know sometimes they would be found on the trees. Right. This smaller guy here, he would eat you know small rats, mice, little birds. Mm -hmm. On some occasions even here the younger ones eating lizards like iguanas. Yeah. But you know that's rare but it could happen. Right. And they, they can't eat people. Right, so well. Of course, they are excellent predators. They are the top of their game. Um, they are diurnal, meaning that they can move about both in the day and the night. Yeah, yeah, they actually um, can be found anytime during the day or night. Okay, well, that's interesting. Right, so any more facts again you think that might be of concern for everybody else? Well, actually, yeah, like man, yeah. the lifespan is 18 to 25 years. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the females could grow 12 to 13 feet. And the males up to eight feet. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the females yeah. are on top of their game as well. <laughs> Ladies, pay attention. Weight <laughs> is not a problem. Because <laughs> right. she is, uh, she is about seven, seven and a half feet between that. So, so right. she's almost fully grown. Right. Um, I know this is a kind of impromptu question, but uh, I'm getting a smell. Oh, right. Yeah. So almost all snakes can musk. Musk. And it's a really strong scented scent right. that they release from a gland right. and it's, it's a deterrent, it, it is a, re a really good deterrent to a lot of predators. It, it's actually kind of working on me, so it's M-U-S-K, right? Yeah. Okay, musk. That's also very interesting. Right. Um, I guess that is about it for in terms of information, but obviously if people come across snakes as you would be hearing every so often by your neighbors and friends. Um, if you do come in contact with one, you need to take proper precautions. Don't try to handle a snake if you never had experience. Call the proper authorities or call organizations like ourselves and there are a few others as well who could come and help out in situations like that. Because even though they seem nice and calm here in certain circumstances, especially when they are feeling threatened, they would retaliate. As with any other animal. As with any other animal, even with us. Right? So, just remember these are protected species, right, under the Conservation and Wildlife Act. And they're not supposed to kill them. So that's why we are doing this video to sensitize everybody that these are uh, just as, as you could say, important to the ecosystem as any other 
animal and they also work with us yeah like you know if one of these is near a residential area mm-hmm. or a countryside area yeah this would control your rat population and you know yeah. you wouldn't want rats around your house yeah so i mean sacrifice right and if you if you wait if you wait that scale yeah um, how often do you hear of, of snakes causing much deaths in Trinidad? Well, these are constrictors, these aren't poisonous in any way. Well, sorry, venomous in any way. Yeah. So, basically, rats with that leptospirosis is a serious, serious problem. So, think of it first before you, you, you act, actually. Alright, so... Actually, you could um, probably talk about the eyes on this one. Oh, yeah, actually... Probably bring it a, a little here. Okay. Can you see I'll, those I'll eyes? Hold on, I'll, I'll have to get up now. Alright. Mm-hmm. Alright, so you're looking at those eyes there, and you'll see it's a bit, what do you say, cloudy? cloudy yeah. Right. Tariq, why is it so cloudy? That snake is about to shed its skin. Shedding skin. Hmm. Sounds kind of scary. <laughs> well, you know, after a snake grows, mm-hmm. it needs to shed its skin. Right. To be able to, you know, continue growing. All right, so just to make space for yeah. the new size of the body. Um, well, we're zooming our back now, but one last quick question. Um, when it consumes a mammal or an animal that has a skeleton, yeah, uh, what, what would be the process inside here? Does all the, do all the bones come out back? Or? Okay, so what happens is that after they constrict the animal and swallow it, mm-hmm. it starts compressing the animal and then, you know, the enzymes work and they break it down and they absorb the nutrients and minerals that they need. Okay. Like, you know, the bones will provide calcium. calcium. Okay, yeah. great. So, it's a, it's a very interesting process. Yeah. Right, um, they report their young life. Yeah, actually, they, they do give life with mm-hmm. and um, it can range anywhere from about 16 babies to up to 60. Oh, really big snakes, right? Yeah. So, I guess from our group wept. From us guys right here to you all, we wish to thank everybody who have been supporting us thus far. And it's been a, it's been an interesting ride and a very rough road at times, but it, it pays off. It pays off when we actually get this information out to the young ones. So again, on behalf of myself, Kishan, Tarek, and Christian, Christopher, right behind the camera. Right? Have a safe one and join us again soon for Adventures with Web.